The Supreme Court of the United States has decided that corporations have the same constitutional rights that we human citizens have. To get an idea of what this actually means, consider the following. The court has decided that corporations have the right, granted by the First Amendment, not to speak when they want to keep facts from us, such as what's in our food. For example, residues of the herbicide glyphosate have been found in lettuce, carrots, barley, wheat, and rye, in some cases up to a year after the soil was treated. The companies whose food products contain these residues do not have to reveal that to consumers, based on a 1995 case in which the court ruled that dairies using bovine growth hormones in the production of milk did not have to label the milk with that information. The courts also concluded that corporations have the Fourth Amendment right to privacy protection and therefore must never be subjected to surprise inspections for safety hazards or other malfeasance. A 1978 decision prohibited inspectors of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, from conducting warrantless searches of business premises. The court has ruled that corporations have the Fifth Amendment right to be compensated for future profits lost if government tries to restrict their activities, even if those restrictions are needed to protect the health, safety, or welfare of the public. It can become financially impossible to prevent a business from damaging the environment if the local or state government has to pay the business the anticipated profits it could have realized were it allowed to proceed unregulated. The court has decreed that corporations are to be treated as persons and are entitled to equal protection of the laws under the 14th Amendment. As a result, local and state governments are prohibited from enacting laws which favor locally owned businesses and family farms over wealthy multinational corporations. Moreover, the court has established that corporations are not bound by state laws intended to protect the health, safety, or welfare of its residents. A corporation is basically a group of persons working to accomplish a purpose and is treated as a single entity in order to own property and to sue or be sued in a court of law. At one time, corporations were chartered for a limited time and were restricted to working to achieve a specific goal in the public interest. Today, corporations can live forever and may be created solely to make a profit for their shareholders. As the power of corporations has grown over the years, they have increasingly taken charge of producing and distributing food, water, utilities, education, health care, and other elements of human life. Having the sole purpose of making a profit for their shareholders while ignoring the welfare of their employees, customers, and the communities in which they're situated, they make a mockery of democracy and threaten our very existence. Incorporation can be a useful tool to organize society, but it only works for our benefit as long as corporate power is subordinate and accountable to a democratic state. To achieve that subordination and accountability, a 28th Amendment to the Constitution is required. Move to Amend is a national nonpartisan coalition of citizens and organizations working together to ratify such an amendment and thereby make our government accountable to the people, not just to the moneyed interests. Visit movetoamend.org and read about our We the People Amendment. If you agree with us, sign our petition, please, and join us to support this cause.